Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, 2014 is a big year for faith-based movies. From Son of God to Noah, should these movies be primarily for entertainment or evangelism? A closer look in Walking by Faith special report tonight on 10 at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates, a CBS 19 exclusive. One of the jurors who convicted Bernie Tita of murder in 1999 is now speaking out. He is not happy about the recent decision to let Tita walk free. Two weeks ago, we told you an East Texas judge agreed with evidence showing Tita was sexually abused as a child and prone to snapping. But jury member Mel Nagel tells us he never doubted that Marjorie Nugent's death was a cold-blooded crime. I don't think he has a conscience. I, I th you know, I think it's a definite possibility that he can be dangerous yet. Tita was originally sentenced to life in prison. He would have had to wait another 13 years before being eligible for parole. Now to see Nagel's full remarks about the original trial, go to our website, cbs19.tv. Animal lovers are calling for solutions to address the number of stray cats and dogs in Smith County. About 50 SBCA members showed up at Tuesday morning's Commissioner's Court meeting to support efforts to improve animal control. It followed a presentation by Tyler City leaders talking about what's being done to lower the number of strays, like opening up an animal shelter. SBCA President Deborah Dobbs spoke yesterday to encourage the county to join those efforts. Volunteers can vouch more calls are coming in to SBCA than ever before. The second graders from Troop Elementary School are making some big waves with their little hearts. Today during recess, which will be from 1130 until 130, the children will sell lemonade to raise money for their custodian, Miss Heather Dodd. She needs brain surgery. You can stop by the campus and quench your thirst for 50 cents a cup. There's also an account set up at Austin Bank under the name Heather Dawn. If you can't make the fundraiser, but you'd still like to donate. Great cause, and you might need some lemonade. It might be warm out there. Let's get over to Scott Fossey with our weather. Clint, Dana, your Wednesday forecast across the Piney Woods of East Texas. Temperatures hitting near 80 by lunchtime today. The wind, it'll be breezy, but not as windy as yesterday. Pressure gradient relaxes just a bit today. South wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Highs should round out near 86, back down to around 84 by the time you head home this evening. We've got morning stratus clouds across the East Texas area. They'll scatter out by mid to late morning, giving way to mostly sunny skies. Solid ridge of high pressure still in control of our region here on the eastern side of the state. Clouds will move back up from the Gulf of Mexico during the overnight hours again tonight. Early tomorrow morning, we'll deal with more cloud cover around the region. Short-lived, though. Sunny and 86, your high tomorrow. Check out your rest of the week forecast heading into your holiday weekend. 87 on Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we'll see increasing clouds, but we should remain dry. 86, your afternoon high. Monday on Memorial Day, a 30% chance. Mid to late afternoon on for scattered showers and storms. Better chance on Tuesday through Wednesday morning. For the very latest all day long, go to our website, cbs19.tv. Then tune in later today for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Have a great day.